watching Apple Tech Beast. This is Apple Tech Beast with a design comparison between three generations of iPad. Now, seeing as my channel is called Apple Tech Beast, I thought I'd actually do a video related to Apple products. So, yeah, I've got my iPad 2 here, an iPad Air there, and an iPad Mini 3. So the iPad Mini 3 is obviously the latest iPad Mini. It's got Touch ID. The iPad Air is just sort of a thinner version of the iPad 4, I think. It's basically a thinner version of mine. Uh, my iPad 2, and then the iPad 2 obviously doesn't have Touch ID, it's not light at all, but I'll talk about that sort of thing in a second. So yeah, we'll start off with the iPad 2. Like I said, no Touch ID, as you can see there. It's got a big screen, pixel density isn't the best, but it doesn't look bad, the screen isn't bad at all. Obviously it's not retina though. Got a, the back is sort of this aluminium um, curved look, which isn't the same on the other iPads. So you can see it's got a glossy black I, uh, Apple logo as well, instead of the mirror finish Apple logos that they, those have. I wasn't gonna tell you what they look like, but might as well. The camera is a very bad camera. It's like two megapixels, three megapixels on the back, and the front one is like 0.1 megapixels or something stupid, um, but it sort of does the job and yeah I really like the design of the iPad 2 and it's thin really thin it's not the lightest but it's not heavy like if you won't if you picked up the iPad 2 you wouldn't say oh no that's heavy but if you picked it up next to the iPad Air or iPad mini 3 then yes you would say it's heavy um, so we'll move on to the iPad Air so no touch ID again but the screen is a retina display I think anyway let me just check I'm pretty sure that's retina display got more pixels anyway better pixel density um, but the back of it you can see it's a it's an aluminium finish again on this specific model anyway uh, it's got a sort of it's a square alignment Look, which actually makes it look thicker than the iPad 2. It's an illusion sort of thing, but it makes it look thicker. You can see at the bottom it's got the lightning connector instead of the 30 pin one that the iPad 2 has. I forgot to show you that, but I'd have noticed that before. But the, uh, the headphone connector is white inside instead of black, uh, which looks a bit nicer. And then the buttons are the color of the body instead of being black, uh, like on the iPad 2. And then, yeah, like if I didn't already mention, the Apple logo is mirrored. It's silver mirrored sort of chrome look, which is quite cool. I and then the thinner bezel, obviously, which makes it smaller with the same size screen, which is quite cool. So you've got a bit of a speed improvement and that sort of thing. The cameras are better. 8 megapixel camera, I think it must have. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, some slight improvements like Apple do uh, along the way. Now this, obviously, that is a bit lighter as well, but this is stupidly light. It's the iPad Mini 3, which is the latest, one of the latest iPads from Apple. It's got the Touch ID home button. This is a gold one, so it's got the gold aluminium sort of look back thing to it. And then the Apple logo is chrome gold, which like I really like. And then there's a gold ring around the Touch ID um, home button as well. The cameras are improved, and it's sort of more flush to the body at the back, which is also quite cool. I like that. And then the buttons are the same color as the body. Um, which isn't the same on the iPad 2, like I mentioned. And then the screen is also improved again. Yeah, that's Retina. Better pixel density than the iPad 2 anyway. So that was sort of a quick comparison between the three generations of iPad. Now, I did this because I had the three iPads in the house, and I just thought I might as well do a video on all three generations of the iPad, uh, because it's quite cool. I mean, I could have had the original iPad in here if we had one, but... Obviously, that's a, a completely different one, which would have been quite good to compare, actually, because it's really thick, really heavy. Does it have any cameras? I don't think it has any cameras. I don't think it does. Maybe a back one. I'm still loyal to this iPad 2 because it is absolutely perfect for what I need it for. Um, it's struggling with compatibility on some apps now, um, but I don't, I don't download apps that much. It works. It's a very, very good iPad. I would definitely recommend the iPad 2 if you could find one in decent condition or even new. I think Apple do the refurbished thing. Definitely get one because it's not slow in any way. It's just, it just struggles with compatibility a bit because of the... Um, I think it says it lacks gyroscopes or something. I don't think it does, but obviously they want you to buy the newest one, so that's fair enough. And then the iPad Air, it's it's good. You can feel it's slightly thinner when you hold it in your hands, and then this square design makes it look newer um, and just slightly different. Uh, but I prefer the uh, the design of the iPad 2. It makes that look thinner. I mean, you can feel this is thinner when you hold it, but and lighter, obviously. But then the iPad Mini 3 is really, really good. It's really light, really thin, has a Touch ID, which is quite useful for some people, and it's really fast as well. And personally, if, I, if the iPad Mini was out when I bought my iPad 2, which was in the first week of its sale, which was quite cool, I would have definitely got the mini iPad, smaller iPad, um, because I just find it more useful. I could take it more places, and it'd be just easier to use, I think. But yeah. I don't know whether that video was useful to you, but I found it quite cool to compare all the different generations of the iPad because uh, everyone just forgets about the previous generations and looks at the new ones. So yeah, I thought I'd give you this video um, so you can have a look at them. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please rate it, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and yeah, comment on your opinion on, on my channel and this video and all that sort of thing. Uh, and also like the Facebook page and follow me, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is SamMMJ underscore, I think. But all the links will be in the description. But yeah, thanks for watching this video and goodbye.